Hello. Today we're going to talk about the if class functions. Now that's not their official name. I kind of made it up, but I think it's fitting. In other words, we're going to look at those functions, which are derivations of the big five, but they have an if on the end of them. So not just a sum, not just an average, not just a count, but a sum if, average if, count if. And in a previous video I explained why you should always use the functions that have the s on the end of them. So I'm just going to make the, ex the assumption that that that's already understood at this point. And so let's look at some questions that can only be answered using those uh, if class functions. So in cell K2, I would like to count the number of players that are from the USA. So it's kind of a count, but it's a count if, because I only want to count people by a certain criteria. I'm gonna start off with two counts, and then we're gonna move on. Counts are easier than the other two, and you'll see why in a minute. So if you want the count if functions, they are under the formulas tab, they're under more functions under statistical, which is not the easiest place to find them. So of course you've got count if versus count ifs. Uh, if here I could I could use either, but I'm going to use the S class functions. I'm just not going to explain that anymore. You should probably use the S class functions as well. So criteria range. In other words, what is the determining column here? The determining column is country because I'm looking at people from the USA. So I'm going to select that country, and control shift down. And for criteria, there's two ways I can do this. I can either do USA in quotes, or I like to just point at a cell with the value that I'm looking for, especially when I'm looking for a direct match like this. You can see it's going to work. And I get 22, and that's probably correct. So that was a count ifs. So for the next one, in this cell, I want to count the number of players that are from the USA and shot less than 69 in round four. So it starts off looking awfully similar up until this point, and then we've got an and on it. So that and means there's going to be more than one criteria, in which case we have to use the S class functions. So I'm gonna head back to more functions, head back to statistical, scroll on down to count ifs. I don't have a choice here. Might as well be good at this function because there are times when you need it. So my criteria range, so I've got USA, or sorry, I've got country and round four. It doesn't matter what order you do them in. I'm gonna do them in the order that they're written in the sentence. So I'll say country, and again, I'm looking for USA. Tab on down, my criteria range, round four is my second criteria, and I am looking for people who are less than 69, so less than 69, that feels wrong to write. It's like half of an inequality. In other words, I'm looking for the cells in this range which meet this criteria. And I click OK, and apparently there are seven people from the US that shot less than 69 in round four. Those are your count ifs functions. Now, the more difficult ones, you could say that they're more difficult, and I would agree, are the average if and the sum if. So let's look at an average if problem. In this cell, I want to find the average total score of players that are from the USA and shot less than 69 in round one. So that's two criteria, both USA and less than 69 in round one. So let's deal with that. So it's an average if. So I'm gonna head to more functions, statistical, and here's average ifs right here. I have no choice, I have to use the S because there are two criteria. So this one's more difficult because in the preview, in the counts, there's just a criteria one range and then the criteria, criteria two range, and then the criteria. For these more mathematical functions, there's always a math range or an average range. So you really have to read the question. I want the average total score. So the total score is what I'm gonna feed in here under average range. Okay, so that's the column that I'm gonna do math to. Uh, criteria, so my first criteria is the USA. Sorry, I have to scroll that around. I just can't read the question. So criteria one, we'll say, is country. So notice the difference between criteria range and average range. All right, this means what do you want the average of? This is what's the determining column. Now there's also, and you can see there's just more dialog boxes here. The other one was less than 69 in round one. So I'm gonna feed in round one. And I'm gonna write less than 69. Now one of the pieces of advice I give you, read these labels. They are there for your help. Criteria means determining column. Criteria means what are you looking for in that range. So your criteria one is always going to be something which occurs in that range. Right, and just like uh, less than 69 is in that range. 
I click OK, and I get something like that. And that seems reasonable. That seems like a possible average total score. Let's do one more, and this one's even a little bit trickier. This is one of the... Right, this is where things start to get interesting in Excel, in my opinion, when you start doing these if class functions. So here I want to do the sum of the total score of players that are from Australia and shot less than 70 in round one. So there are two criteria. There's both country is going to be part of it, and round one is going to be part of it. And I want the sum of the total score. So there's three columns that I'm going to feed into this, similar to the last example. So this one's a little bit interesting because your intuition is going to say, oh, well, it's got to be over here. But sum if is not in this group. I don't know why. It is just not. If you want to do a sum if, it's under math and trig. So just flat out a little bit harder to find. Is that poor design? In my opinion, yes. But I don't make those decisions. All right, so I want the sum of the total score. Tab on down, criteria one. I remember I was looking for Australia, so that means I'm going to look in this column for this value. And criteria two was uh, round one. So criteria range two is this round and less than 70. And so you really have to pay pretty close attention to what the question's asking you, um, right? Because there's a lot of things to get straightened out here. I click OK, and that is a pretty weird thing to do. Uh, but I don't. I believe that that seems like a somewhat reasonable value. Checking these a little bit more difficult, probably understandably. So those are the three if class functions and so of course there's the one with the s and without the s. Notice that I always use the one with the s. Trust me when I tell you it's a better dialog box and it's more flexible. So if you have a choice, you should always commit to using the one with the S on it. It's just better than that one. So unless someone is forcing you to do that for some reason, like the Moss exam, go ahead and do that. But when you have a choice, you should use that. And so those are those functions. And as you can imagine, they have a million different applications, tons of different shapes, sizes, uh, as you might may have looked. Notice you got a scroll bar here. You can have up to 127 different criteria, and I can't imagine why you would, but these can be as complicated as the person writing them wants them to be. So now you're familiar with the if class functions, and you're ready to apply them. Thanks for watching.